You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness compassion, mercifulness, and love, O Sacred Heart, O Lord. May all hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, make and humble you down on the cross for us, Yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins, purify our hearts, so that we may perfectly and worthily Love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. O sacred, sacred heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise. For you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you King of Kings praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. We pray that Your Holy Spirit will descend upon them. That your Holy Spirit will fill their hearts with joy, with strength, with hope, with faith, and a great love. A love so great that they will be able to love even those who persecute them. We also pray for those who persecute your people, that your Holy Spirit may descend upon them and that their hearts may be touched in such a way that they may be able to see you, Lord, and become your followers. And gracious Father, we pray for all bishops Especially we pray for Archbishop Brown, 
We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And Heavenly Father, we pray for Tung Ling. Tung Ling is involved with a ministry. Um, the name of the ministry is Hope Children's Home in Myanmar. And as part of that ministry, they're looking for some land and a house where they can house the children, obviously. Lord, you know what Tong Ling and Tong Ling's ministry need. You never send us out there to do your work without the tools that we need. But rather, you always provide not too late and not too soon, but at the perfect time. And so we pray that you will provide for Tung Lin and for the Ministry of Hope Children's Home that everything they need, everything they need, may be provided for them. And that those in leadership of this ministry and that Tung Lin will be able to continue walking by faith Understanding and believing that you have a plan and that in the end your plan will be fulfilled and that it might not appear that this is the case, that it may not appear that your will is being done, but that we know and help us know help us believe that in spite of the appearances your hand is at work let this be a prayer not only for Tung Ling and the Hope Children's Ministry but for all of us who are out there in ministry trying to do your work and dealing and facing uh, the difficulties especially financial financial constraints that revolve around ministry. And Lord, we also pray for those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction or any other form of addiction we pray heavenly father for those who are sick with Ebola virus have mercy on them Jesus and bring healing to them Christian father we pray for those who are grieving especially those who grieve as a result of having lost a loved one in an, in an accident or, as a, or, or from a violent act we pray Jesus for for those who are homeless for the poor the unemployed and the oppressed we pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. 
merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit. We are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues, all according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given, given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the enemy. Christ Jesus, Many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray, according to your will, that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. King of Peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I. Send me. Look kindly upon you, servants gathered here today, and use each of us according to your gifts. As ambassadors of your holy message, here in our cities and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now as O Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving honoring and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take your sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and scream me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in